Good evening, kitchenettes. And I was thinking maybe we can call the younger kitchenettes kitchen nuggets. What do you guys think? Is that fun? Kitchen nuggets? Because you know how kids like chicken nuggets. Would they like to be a kitchen nugget? I don't know. I need thoughts. I need input. Welcome to Monday Morsels. Welcome to my bare bones kitchen, where hopefully, if you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, I can show you how to make something yummy. I'm trying my best anyways. No, I'm not trying. I'm doing or I'm not doing. So you just have to keep showing up to let me know I'm doing. How about that? That's how we're going to roll today. So I was kind of giving my timer a little bit longer because I need what is in my sink currently. Um, so I'm just going to talk for a few minutes. You know, like when you look up a recipe online and you get like the five pages of where this recipe came from and blah, 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 and we all just skip past it to get to, rest, to the recipe. Well, here you can't skip past it unless you're replaying it. And then you're not going to know when I actually start to do anything. So it is what it is. You get to hear the whole long story before I actually get to the recipe. Now I'm being a blogger. It's okay, though. You'll live through it, I promise. So show of hands, or not show of hands, but down below, let me know, A, what you think of kitchen nuggets for our young viewers, and B, tell me, do you prefer macaroni salad or potato salad? Me personally, I love them both, but I definitely have a little bit closer love for macaroni salad than I do potato salad. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Maybe it's because the variations mm. of mac salad um, are very many. Let's see if I can shut my <laughs> dinger off here. Um, yeah, the variations of macaroni salad are very many, so I think that's why I prefer to have mac salad versus potato salad. Just my personal opinion. Let me know what your personal opinion is, though, because there's lots of variations on potato salad, too, but they're all pretty much basically the same thing. Hey, V! How was your trip, my love? All right, let me run some cool water on what's going on in my sink over here. And hopefully it will work. Hopefully. So I, hey Sue, I uh, actually boiled eggs. And for those of you that don't have a foolproof recipe for boiled eggs to get, hopefully to get a perfectly boiled egg, Put your eggs in first, then turn your water on. Bring it to a boil. Shut it off. Put a lid on it. 13 minutes. 13 minutes almost will always give you perfect hard boiled eggs. And that's just the way I do it. I read that somewhere like years ago. And I tried it and it totally works. Unless you like them a little soft boiled, then it might not work. And I'm not going to lie, I'm using farm fresh eggs, so it may not work. But we're going to find out. Or we're going to find out if I skip this step, because I may have. Oh, you're so sweet, V. And I'm cheersing with water tonight, guys. I know, shocker, right? So, I know that many of you that watch are parents and have small children. And what else do you make but mac and cheese, right? I purposely made... Two boxes of macaroni and cheese last night, knowing that I was going to do this for Monday morsels. Typically in the past, you could take that macaroni and cheese and hope that your kids will reheat it and eat it. But if you've ever had reheated craft or reheated mac and cheese that's not craft, any kind of boxed mac and cheese, it generally doesn't come out very good. It's not very tasty. Um, it's a little wonky, so what else do you do with it, right? We're going to turn it into a macaroni salad because I love macaroni salad, and what's wrong with a good macaroni salad made with something that's left over that you don't know what to do with? So that is what we're doing. I typically, in my mac salad, will do pickles, olives, eggs, sometimes cheese, 
it just depends kind of how you're feeling, you know. But maybe you put onions in yours. I'm not a fan of onions in any of my salads generally. There are like handfuls of them that I'm all right with it. Um, but this one is definitely a no for me. Potato salad is definitely a no for me. I'm not a fan of onions in either of those salads. So I do not have any olives. So I am working with what I have. Um, I'm the only one in my house that eats olives. So I don't tend to buy them unless Jasmine is coming home for a weekend or whatever. Uh, so we're just going to work with what we have. So I have my cold mac and cheese. And this is a little less than two boxes worth. Which is perfect for a salad if you're doing a barbecue or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this on Wednesday. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably have some of it tonight, but that's how I'm working it. Now you are talking. Oh, love you too, mom. Now I'm talking about what? What am I talking about? Leftover mac and cheese or how to do eggs? Sue, you got to let me know. Hey, Francisco. Oh, olives and mac salad. Yes. I love olives and mac salad too, but again, I got picky kids. And I don't even know why I worry about it, because Zane won't touch this. Tyler might have a little bit, and he's more than willing to pick out olives. <laughs> Jasmine might be different, though. She would probably throw down on some of this. Hey, Tina. So, again, I just have the, the cold macaroni and cheese. I'm waiting for my eggs to cool. I have some chopped up pickles here. Some mayo. Some mustard. Garlic salt pepper very basic doesn't take a lot to make it taste delicious um, it's always going to be by your taste anyways and again I'm going to go back to drop your favorite drop your favorite whether you're watching now or later just drop your favorite um, potato salad or macaroni salad which is your favorite and also I need to know what to call the kids that watch my show are they kitchen nuggets or do you have another suggestion I love it because, you know, you're all the kitchenettes, so we got to get the little kids in here, too, or the younger kids. That's the younger kids. Kitchen nuggets. I like it. I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to stick. I don't know if it's going to fly. But let me know in the comments. And by the way, guys, 92 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm super stoked about that. It makes my heart so happy that you all keep coming back and showing up for me and sharing, sharing my videos, sharing my link. I think that's awesome. So I'm just going to eyeball this. I have, I don't know, a bowl of macaroni. So we're going to just add some mayo to that macaroni and I might have to get another jar because I don't know that I have enough. And I suppose if you wanted a, a lower fat version of this, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to do a lower fat version when it's covered in cheese, but you know, um, you could use some sour cream to kind of kind of kill that that uh, super fatness to it. Let me find a little scraper here. Um, or plain Greek yogurt that works really well too. A combination of the two, like the mayo and the Greek yogurt, or the sour cream and the Greek yogurt, would also be really good. And it might give it a nice little tang. I'm going to guess I probably have about a cup and a half of mayo here. We're going to mix it up and see how we feel about it. All right, we got Tina and, and Sue both going for the mac salad. I knew there was a reason why I liked you ladies. Oh, I probably should have stirred up this macaroni a little bit before I tried to add this. That's all right. We're going to get it done one way or another. I might make a big, huge mess, though. See, there we go. Already making a mess. Already doing it. It's this quietness that I wish I could play music, but I'm not trying to go to Facebook jail. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to do it. But I also know that is not going to be enough mayo. All right, good thing I got another brand spanking new one over there, huh? So that's probably about total of maybe two-ish cups, maybe. 
And this is a really good way to get rid of that leftover mac and cheese. You know your kids aren't going to eat this after, they're, after they've had their one bowl. You know they're not going to. You could always attempt to make some macaroni and cheese balls, but I don't know. With day old, day old, I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't know that that would work out in anybody's favor, so... All right, give it a little squirt of mustard. And again, this is always gonna be to your taste. I just give you guidelines, that's all. That's all a recipe really is anyways. You ever looked at a recipe and seen two cloves of garlic? You know your ass ain't gonna put no damn two cloves of garlic in it. It'd be like two heads of garlic maybe. That's me anyways. When I was in culinary school, one of the girls made a garlic soup. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was the best. It was so garlicky and delicious and creamy and I don't even know how she made it, but it was delicious. Delicious. I don't know. I probably did about maybe two-ish tablespoons of mus mustard. I kind of like that pale yellow. That's how I judge it is by the color of the mayo mustard mix when you get it all mixed together. It's almost looking like a mac salad, guys. Almost. Got mayo all over my dang fingers, though. Going for the garlic. I'm not using my Weber's for this because sometimes that can be just too much. And for me, I don't want it to, the other spices to overpower the actual mac part of it. My pepper, got my salt. Now you have to remember with your salt, if you're using the mac and cheese, that it's already kind of salty. So, you want to make sure that you don't put as much as you typically put in there at first because it may be too much. And you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Perfect. Now I'm just going to scoop these pickles right on in here. I'd already chopped up some pickles. And I'm going to see if these eggs are cooled down at all. They feel cool enough to me. Let's hope they're done. So I like to take them and smack the bottom and smack the top. And they generally peel quite easy. But again, these are farm fresh eggs, so it may not be as easy as I think it's going to be. Because sometimes really fresh eggs, the skin does not like to peel off of them. Which is how you know they're really fresh eggs. It kind of sticks. And these might look a little tore up by the time I'm done because they're very fresh eggs. Isn't that weird? The older eggs peel a lot easier. That'll tell you something when you're buying your eggs in the grocery store, huh? And sometimes you can run them under cold water too and that does help the, the shell come apart from the actual egg. But I'm not gonna continuously run the water because I don't wanna, first of all, I don't wanna be like right out of sight for too long because I don't want you guys thinking I left you So pop the top, pop the bottom, roll it down. Not too bad. I didn't destroy them too bad. They are a little sticky though.
Now, if you prefer to shred your eggs, that's totally fine with me. Just be careful doing that. My mom used to say whoever gets the skin has to do the dishes. <laughs> so, I don't shred my eggs. I just chop them. Um, I'll usually do three or four slices one way, three or four slices the other way. These probably could have cooked a couple minutes longer, but that's all right. They're slightly softer boiled than I would like, but they're not runny in the middle, which I'm totally down for. It's because I was excited to see you guys. Looks like we're down for uh, some not so great weather the next couple days. Is anybody excited about that? I'm not. It makes my heart a little sad. I actually got some tan lines yesterday, so I guess I'm okay with it. But I'd rather be working on some more tan lines. You can also use the back of your knife to do this. You don't have to have a special scraper. But just remember, if you do use your knife, use the back. You don't ever want to scrape your food like this. Always like this. Because when you scrape it like this, it actually takes your blade and bends it, which makes it very dull. And a dull knife is no good in your kitchen. My yolks are a little undercooked, but that's okay. They're nice and bright because they're farm fresh eggs. So I'm totally, totally game for that. And I think the only olives I have on hand right now are Kalamata olives. And I just think that would be too much tang. Um, for me personally, I would like the, the sweetness of just a regular black olive. So this might not be very colorful but I'm hoping it still tastes delicious because I've made this a few times and it usually does taste pretty darn good. And again, you can add shredded cheese in there or chunks of cheese. Some people like chunks of cheese, um, but it already came from mac and cheese, so I'm not gonna add that tonight. It does look delicious though, huh? All right, let me get a little bowl here so you guys can see. You guys can see what's up. What's up? Oh, I'm just going to use this spoon. I was going to try to get a better spoon, but I don't have one right now. There you are. Easy peasy mac salad. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. 92 subscribers. That's awesome. Super excited about that. I need to know what your favorite salad is. Do you prefer mac salad or potato salad? If you haven't told me already, tell me. And should we call the young people, the young kitchenettes, kitchen nuggets? I really need to know. Kitchen nuggets, how cute is that? Do you have a better name for the younger viewers? You know, I've been trying to clean up my mouth for them. I don't know how long it's gonna last though. I'm trying, I'm doing my darndest to make sure that little ears can hear what I have to say too. Because there's nothing better than inspiring small minds as well as the larger minds. So if you haven't followed me on YouTube yet, do that. If you have, share it. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you for joining me tonight in my Monday morsels in my bare bones kitchen. Love you all.